How are we doing, guys? Yeah, for my original intro, I wrote, uh, eat my poop. And she said, I will not say that. So, I guess I perform all over LAOC now. That's my new thing. But yeah, I did break my arm, okay? I don't want to be treated any differently because of it, okay? I'm just like any of you, all right? I'm just on way more painkillers, okay? I'm having a good time, all right? Yeah, did you guys know you're not supposed to drive on painkillers, by the way? That was news to me. I didn't know uh, operating heavy, heavy machinery meant driving my car. It's easy. I was at the, at the hospital, they gave me a bunch of stuff, and the doctor's like, do you want to ride home? And I was like, no, but I'm feeling a drive, honestly. I don't really calm my nerves, get behind the wheel. She was like, no, you can't drive. We just gave you a bunch of painkillers. I was like, Maybe you can't, bitch. I can try. <laughs> I can try better than most. And she had the funniest response. Swear to God, this is what she said. She goes, um, uh, I could drive, okay? I'm a doctor, all right? A lot of experience with painkillers. <laughs> the whole room tensed up, and all the nurses were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> It was the weirdest thing. She was a chill doctor, too, and now I know why. <laughs> she was a little too chill, though. Like, I, I went to her later, and I was like, yeah, my wrist, like, every time I move it, it clicks. Is that a problem? She's like, oh, no, clicks, that's totally normal. But if, it, if you hear, like, a clunk, <laughs> go to the ER right away. <laughs> and then she left the room. And I was like, what? <laughs> now I'm walking around all the time. I was like, was that a click or was that a clunk? I don't know. A thump. Is a thump like a clunk? Is that the same thing? I swear when I walked out here, it clanked. Did you guys hear a clank when I came up? Is that impossible? I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I went to the deli recently to get chicken because I thought that was the only meat I had a good grasp on. I went there and I was like, uh, excuse me, sir, I would like to get some chicken. Uh, can I get someone to assist me? And the guy walks up and says, all right. Looks around, everyone working there, he's like, okay. White or dark? Oh shit, dude, I, you know, I don't care who it is. <laughs> I don't know, that guy, he's kind of like in the middle. Is that why they call it Middle Eastern? Is that, I don't know, I don't know. But something I do know, something I do know, some stuff, something I do know is what my spirit animal is, okay? I, I know stuff, guys, all right? And it turns out my spirit animal is a dolphin. Pretty cool, all right? Oh, also, side note, I heard you're not supposed to say spirit animal anymore, but, you know, it's like offensive, but I don't feel comfortable just saying I have a dolphin inside me, so. <laughs> it just doesn't sound right. But I, I, I found out my dolphin's a spirit animal, uh, my spirit animal's a dolphin because uh, I read, um, sorry, I watched a TikTok where, <laughs> And it said that dolphins will eat certain fish and they'll all get high together. And I was like, me? That's me. I'm spiritually connected with these creatures. And then, and then I, I, I discovered, like, I was like thinking like, wait, so who are these scientists that like are doctors? And then one day some like just hippie ass guy walks in and is like, yo, dudes, we gotta start experimenting on these dolphins, okay? There's no way they're this chill all the time. And they're not getting stoned. They gotta be getting stoned. And then they got millions of dollars of grants just to pull a dolphin out of the water and be like, what? He ordered so many chicken tenders. <laughs> I also recently, my friends, they, they brought me to the shooting range. That took some convincing. I was like, I don't know if I'm a good guy for that. But they, they were like, no, dude, a gun, it feels so good to hold a gun. Like, it's amazing, like, it'll feel great. And they were right. I went and I was holding the gun, and it does feel amazing, but the feeling is like, I want to fucking kill something. <laughs> this was built for murder, let's make it happen. But I'm not an aggressive guy, so my thoughts are just like, dude, you should fucking kill yourself. You should kill yourself. <laughs> it would be so funny. It would be so funny. They begged me to come if I just was like, Poof, kill myself out of nowhere. And I was standing there thinking of a one-liner that would justify killing myself. Just like, you know, uh, you know, my, my brain is itchy, guys. <laughs> oh, you said Sheila's coming? Oh, great. 
<laughs> oh my god, oh, I just say you love Chilo. What's going on? I don't know, it's just weird. It's weird. You're holding this gun and it's like you pull one trigger, you press one button, and you get the answers to like, is there an afterlife? Like, <laughs> what does this all mean? You know? Do I want to find out? <laughs> And it turns out if you say that to the people working at the gun range, <laughs> they ask you to leave. They go, oh. I was offended. I was like, come on, I'm not suicidal. You know, I can turn around and kill all you guys. <laughs> the same thing. All right, that's my time. Thank you guys so much. You're great.